So like I said before, we're waiting for Jake and Andrew. We're gonna play on the radio station, 92.9, Standing outside, it's not really that cold out, like I said. So we're gonna have advertised local show for tomorrow night. Yeah, we're playing. Got to see you there. Up. And then uh, we'll just do a quick pre-interview before the performance. Be careful when you're on the roads. Okay. Because of that sudden snowfall that we had, it's quite treacherous right now. We've got light snow on the ground right now, and uh, there should be some more flurries to come this morning. They are going to end this afternoon, and then it's going to be cloudy after that, a high of plus 1. And clear skies tonight with a low of minus 10. A mix of sun and cloud tomorrow with a high of plus 3, and then Sunday... It's 8.16, and tomorrow night at Gateway Church, there's going to be a show filled with local talent, including our friends in Ravens Fall. They are here, and uh, we're going to have to go through a little bit of a roll call right now. So when I say your position in the band, uh, speak up and give us your name. He's normally the bass man, but today he's playing tambourine. That's... Hello, I'm Jackson. <laughs> Jackson with the radio voice this morning. On lead vocals and guitar, we have... <laughs> Andrew. On guitar, we have... I'm Jake. And the drummer, the strong silent type is... Dakota. Dakota, <laughs> hopefully you heard that. <laughs> and uh, welcome back, guys. And uh, it's been a while since we had you on. And I know this is the first show you guys have done in six months. Yeah. So it must feel good to get back out there playing. Well, for Definitely sure. it been a while. Yeah. I think the last, last actual show we played was October, I think it's Simcoe. It is Simcoe Fair, yeah. Simcoe, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a long time. I didn't, and I'm, I didn't play that one. Yeah, exactly. And I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm stoked to get back on stage. Just sure. We're going to be playing a bunch of new songs, so it'd be, uh, it'd be smart to come on out. Beautiful, and I understand you're playing with a lot of other bands from the area, too. Uh, Chris and Ryan, they're from Toronto. Um, to tell. To tell. To tell, they're from London, I think. I believe. Yeah. Um, Miniverse Sale is our buddy's band, I think, from Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And Fitness Club Fiasco is, I think, Toronto, too. Oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's definitely going to be the one a band show. holding it down for Haldeman County is exactly. Ravens yeah. Fall. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, come yeah. for Ravens Fall, stay for the others. And I understand you guys got a pretty high profile gig coming up on March 30th. You're opening for 10 Second Epic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm yeah. excited. Super excited to, to open up for those guys. I've been listening to them since like grade seven, so uh, it's it's just an amazing experience to be able to share the stage with them. Beautiful. Sure. Well, you know what? Congratulations, guys, on all Thank the you. success that's coming your way. Now, what song are you going to be playing for <coughs> this morning? Uh, we're playing a song that we have wrote. It's called "A Nice Life at Least for You." A nice life at least for you. <laughs> all right. Without any further ado, here is Ravens Fall.
they're playing tomorrow night at Gateway Church. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much. Thank that was you. awesome. Thank, thank you very much. much. Make sure you go and see them. <coughs> Yikes. There we go. Good work, guys. That was so good. That was good, man. She went to the radio station, played a new tune over the radio, had a little interview, you know, it's good for promoting. Got a little bit of uh, a little bit of chest problem, got a little bit of phlegm in the lungs, also known as bronchitis. Still did it though. Still did it. I somehow made it through. I don't know how. One point, but you're Give me a high five. And everyone else sounded pretty good for not jamming that acoustic ever, but yeah. I don't know. The fact that I got through it is kind of on its own. I had to drink water like three times through it. Oh well.